I am recording. Now, this, um, I'm just doing this to show you a good variety of Nintendo games and consoles I may have. Um, I don't have them all with me at the moment, but, yeah, this is obviously the first one. If people don't know, this is, this is Pokemon Ruby. You can tell by it's red. This was actually the first Pokemon game I got, ever. Um, I like to scratch off the covers of Pokemon games. I don't know why. This was like in second grade when I got this, so... Yeah, I like to do it. I think I've arranged these things in the orders they have came out. So, yeah, Pokemon Ruby is obviously first. I'm doing this because my pal Frodo likes to do videos like this. So anyway, um... I'm going to move on to the next one. This Nintendo DS Lite. My next order. The game in there I will show you if I have time later. I think that actually came out before Pokemon Ruby. I'm not exactly sure. But yes, DS Lite. It's actually in pretty bad condition. It doesn't even work with um, DS games. No, it doesn't work. I use a different console for DS games. I'll show you that at the end. Okay, this game, believe it or not, that is Pokemon Diamond. Yeah. I kind of told you before I like to rip off the covers of Pokemon games. So, yeah, I did that. But that is Pokemon Diamond. If I have time at the end of the video, I will show you it is Pokemon Diamond. Here's the next one. Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I don't know if you can read that. Well, I don't know. You probably can't read that. But, yes, that is Zelda Phantom Hourglass. As you can see the word Zelda and the little Phantom Hourglass next to it. Um, yeah. I think... No, I played a Zelda game before that. But that's... The first Zelda DS game that's ever came out. And I really liked it. New controls with the touchscreen instead. But, let's move on to the next game in order. Pokemon Platinum. Really similar to Pokemon Diamond. They made a few upgrades. Um, you can get both Dialga and Palkia in it. And the main Pokemon is Giratina, which you get them at a lower level in this game. Um, yeah, basically all I have to say about it. Moving on to the next one. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. I do have Blue Mystery Dungeon, I don't have it with me, so, yeah, but that came out even before Pokemon Diamond. But this one, all the Mystery Dungeons are just spin-offs of the regular Pokemon thing. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I've got a few of them. I've got Explores the Sky and Mystery Dungeon, Blue Mystery Dungeon. But, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Zelda Spear Tracks. I don't know if you can read that. You can see the train, you can see the word Zelda, kinda. But, yeah, Zelda Spear Tracks. Um, I like this actually better than Phantom Hourglass. One thing I don't like, they took out Wi-Fi battles. You can no longer battle on Wi-Fi, but I like the multiplayer battle a lot better. I can honestly say that. Um, yeah. Next order. Pokemon White. New generation of Pokemon. Newest one, at least. Um, I really think story, the story-wise, the story, they kind of lost it. I mean, they used to say, like, back in, um, the Silver, Crystal, Blue and Red, all those old Game Boy Color games, they used to say, you gotta catch them all. Now they just say, really, you gotta catch a bunch. I mean, you, there's like 646, I remember, Pokemon now, and really... You can't really catch them all. It's pretty hard. Actually, I know how to. There's like a DNS code thing to get any Pokemon, but that would take a while. But, here is last, but definitely not least. That is a 3DS. Yes. I can honestly say that. Um, yeah. I can give you a bit of a tour on everything about it. I have had it for about... Um, I think it's been three weeks already. I don't know. I only got it, like, after about a week after it came out. But, yeah. Um, one thing that I really like is the stylus. 
I can honestly say that. Uh, it opens up. It opens and closes. Like a telescope would. It opens and closes, as you can see. So, it's it looks a lot like the very first DS Pen, which I do... I did have, but then it completely broke. I've also had the DSi. I never got the XL, though. I traded in my DSi to get the 3DS. But, um, yeah. Let me put the pen back in. Another thing they have is, if you see that, there's these two gold things there. Those are for the charging port. They have this little port where you can just put it down and it will start charging. Pretty awesome. Um, dual cameras, that's actually because your two eyes, I think each one does different things, and they, like, change the motion of each eye or something, I don't know which, but each one records video for each eye to make 3D effects. Um, they put the outlet thing in, um, the headphone thing, they put that in the very center, I really don't know why. Um, they've turned the volume thing back into a turn thing like they did with the DS Lite, which is actually pretty helpful. It comes with an SD card. I have taken the SD card out for the moment, but basically you need the SD card. Um, what else? The center. You can see the top screen's a bit bigger than the bottom screen. That's for 3D effects. Here's the 3D um, changer. By the way, I do not have any 3DS games yet. I have not cared to get them yet. There's really not ones I like. There might be Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D coming out, which I'm really looking forward to. But yeah, they have the old plus pad thing. They've added analog pad, which actually works with any DS game, which is pretty awesome. The camera on the front is up at the top, if you can see. Um, they've had that. The power button is a square now, and instead of hitting power, you have to hold it for a bit. I really don't like that. And it brings, it gives you an option. It just brings you to this option area where it says either turn the power off or put it on sleep mode. But they've made this new thing with, called Street Pass. If you pass people in the street, you can get their me or whatever. I'm not sure exactly. I've only met like five people. But um, start and select buttons are right here. I don't think you can read them. But there's also home button here that brings you straight home. And it will save any 3DS game you're doing. DS, light games, or just regular DS games. It does not work with it. It'll immediately erase. Um, it's like turning off the 3DS. But, um, yeah, that's basically... It works. It, you can meet friends in this. You know, actually, I might include my friend code so people can add me in this video. I might do that. But, um, yeah. Now, it looks like I've been only going for about 8 minutes. So, I think I will show you what game is in the DS Lite now. Um, this is actually going to be my next walkthrough. I know I said I would do Minecraft. It's really, I just decided, it's really not a game you do a Let's Play of. I said walkthrough, didn't I? I meant Let's Play. But, here we go. Zelda, you can't read that at all, I know. You can just read Zelda. It says Zelda, The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Four Swords. It's a mix of each, but since I don't, have I don't have the adapter. I do have a Game Boy Advance, by the way, but I don't have the adapter to link up with anyone, and I don't know anyone else besides Frodo who has a Game Boy Advance. I need actually four people to play Four Swords. I'd never do that, but I'm going to do Link to the Past, as I just like Zelda games, as you can tell by my picture and my background. But yes, um. I don't know exactly. My commentary is not going to be the best because generally I like to take RPGs seriously. And you, if you've seen with I Want to Be the Guy, I really have not been taking that very seriously. And my... Anytime I'm on YouTube, I've really had a negative attitude, I guess. I've been not as happy because I've been playing I Want to Be the Guy. I can honestly say once I'm done with it, I will be a lot happier. Actually, this video is actually probably going to go and upload before I have I Want to Be the Guy uploads up because I'm uploading it on a faster computer. And I really don't like uploading on other computers, my other computer, because it's very slow, but this computer is faster. Um, yes. And I'm probably going to save the video straight there. But, 
my other video, and my I want to be the guy walkthrough, I am on the boss, the guy, right now. But, obviously, you're not going to see those videos for a while, because I'm really bad at uploading stuff in time. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Now, I still have time. I'm only at, like, the 10-minute mark. So what should I do? I think I'm going to show you proof that this is diamond. I'm going to show you that. <laughs> it's going to be hard one-handed. But, yeah. Let's turn this on. By the way, the light is down here now. That's pretty weird. This light, there's like a right light right there. That's only for street pass. There's really not much of a point for it. Here's the 3D effects. You cannot see the 3D effects at all in the video. It just looks really weird. I know it looks so weird in the video. You actually have to have a 3D camera that actually takes 3D images. See, I turned it off. I turned it on. It's all weird. I turned it off. It's fine. But, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Diamond's old, so it's dusty. Wait. Let me blow on it. Let's see if it works now. There we go. Pokemon Diamond. I know you can't see that, but yeah. Let's look at the top screen. Here we go. Kind of hard to read, but yeah. I really don't like my Diamond file. I have a lot of Shinies because I used to use an action replay. I really don't use the action replay anymore. I find it cheap. But yes, I did used to use the action replay. That was when I was in my fourth grade, but still. Um, let's see where I am. What? Oh, this town. Okay, yeah, as you can see, it's diamond, obviously. As I showed you before. There we go. There's a close up of it. Closer. I know it's very blurry. The lens is kind of blurry of the camera I'm using. Now it's too bright. There we go. I have to focus out of it. I can close in on it. Wow. By the way, I'm using the analog pad to mute, move. It's kind of hard with one-handed. Uh, I can't even read that. I'm looking right through the camera. i just doing this based on memory, actually. Um, I think it's the third one down. Move Pokemon. Yep. I have a little... Many Starlings and Bib Barrels. Those are just to trade over. If you need to trade any Pokemon over. I have a lot of Mareeps. That was only because I was doing a streak. I was trying to get a streak in there. Shiny Cressula. Obviously, I have a lot of Shinies. Used to have a Shiny Arceus. I traded it over to my Soul Silver. I lost my Soul Silver then after. But, yeah. I had Soul Silver. Then I lost all my good Pokemon. So, I'm doing really good with White. All my Pokemon. No Shinies. No really good Shinies, but... Yeah, I'm really not organized here, I can honestly say. Purple Well Lord. A lot of shinies, I can obviously say that. Um, I had like a cheat that made all the Pokemon I saw shiny. Oh, I have some cool shinies in the back. There's my unknown collection. I started collecting unknowns. Here's a cheat I used to walk through walls and get the question mark and exclamation before I got all the other 24 one, 26 ones. But obviously they're shiny, they're blue, while the other ones are black. Um, let's see. What the, what am I doing? Sorry, I can't see well because I'm looking through this. Another Moltres, I don't know why I have two. And I think I have another. Shiny Golbat, Shiny Doug Trio. If you can't see, they have blue noses. Bayonet's just a little different color, it really doesn't matter. Bay Barrel, I don't know why I have. There's another Articuno I have. Spiro, I don't know why I have him. Skeptile, I had from Ruby. Infernape, that was my starter, really. Bellsprout, I don't know why I have these Pokemon. Why not? I really like. I'd kill people on um, Battle Revolution with um, Destiny Bond. It'd be pretty funny, actually. Um, Spiritome, I don't know when I got that. What is that Pokemon? Oh, that's Cast One. I couldn't even see it through the blurriness. Um, Quagsire, uh, Chinchow, I think. Uh, Zubat, okay, there you go. Obviously, I'm going to end the video right now. It's like at about 14 minutes. So, I will see you guys later. And bye.